I'm Seema Abramian and I'm going to interview my aunt Mary Abramian. She's 25 years old. Okay, so what does racism mean to you? Um, when I think of racism, I think of hate. Whether it's skin tone, whether it's religion, culture, or just where you come from. I think racism is just, it reminds me of hate and I hate the word. And I wish it didn't exist, but unfortunately it is what it is. What is one time in your life where you have encountered racism? I have to say when I was, um, when I first came here, I came here when I was three, three years old. Um, I went to school in Kester Elementary, which was mostly an all-American school. Um, and because I didn't speak the language, I didn't speak English, I didn't know anything. <laughs> um, most of the kids, you know, kind of made fun of me. They called me an alien. They told me um, I landed here from with a spaceship, and they con constantly made fun of me. So it was hard. It was hard fitting in, but I think as soon as I picked up the language, which it didn't take me too long because I was very young, um, it, I, as soon as I learned the language and as soon as I kind of picked up on everything around me and as soon as kids just, I guess, I have to say it was most of my, mostly my skin tone as well, which is unfortunate, but because of my skin tone, I've had a pretty easy life when it comes to racism. I've never been put out of, I guess, into a, you know, a weird place, but the only racism that I can think of was when I was, when I first came here and when I didn't actually speak the language. I was outcasted because of it, but as soon as I did learn the language, I was well accepted into the, I guess, circle of friends. What do you think that racism can be stopped, and if you do, what can we do to stop it in our community? Unfortunately, I really don't think racism can be stopped. Um, I'm a sociology major, and actually I'm studying that as well within families. Racism will never stop because culture could never be changed. We all come from a different background. We all come from a different heritage. And I don't think anyone should be able to take that away from me. I come from an Armenian heritage, uh, Armenian traditions. I don't think that America should be able to take that away from me. And I don't think I should be able to take that away from any other culture, whether it may be Hispanic culture, Asian culture, um, Russian culture, you know, any culture. I don't think I should, we should be able to take away from that. So. Because we will continue that, I don't think racism can be stopped. What we can do is accept each other for who we are. Um, and I think that slowly, we kind of are. We still do have racism, but it's not as bad as it used to be. So I think gradually, we will get to a place where we can all accept each other. But as of now, I don't think racism can be stopped. I think we can respect each other based on our culture and our religions, but I don't think racism will be stopped because we are going to, we are still going to have that average person who just hates people just because they hate them. Whether if their skin tone is a little bit lighter than the other person, they're still going to hate them. That's just how it is. That's just human nature. When, if you, let's say you're, I don't know, walking uh, on the street or you're at a store and you see someone getting picked on because of their race or religion or culture, what would you do to help? I've actually encountered that a couple of times in my life. I went to a very multicultural high school, I guess you can say. I went to Polytechnic High School, graduated there, 05. Um, I have lots of African American friends, I have lots of Hispanic friends, I have lots of Asian friends, and a few Armenian friends. Um, I've had my, um, w one of my, actually one of, one of my, f couple of my friends have gotten into arguments and fights, and I've always 
not that I've joined into the fight to actually create more hate and more kind of a fight environment, I've tried to control the fight, whereas to I've kind of gone in and addressed the problem and resolved it. There was one issue where I came into hate, and I hate that I have to say this, but um, one of my girlfriends, her name is Keontae, uh, she's African American. We were at a party, and uh, she cut the line, and this was kind of racist on her side. She cut the line, and um, she walked into the restroom without waiting in line and just cut someone off. As she approached, as she came out of the restroom, the other girl attacked her and pushed her. And while she was in the restroom, she texted me and said something was going to be happening. Please come over here. So I went right away to the restroom to try to see what was going on. All I see is they're fighting with each other. And I, of course, I pulled them aside and, you know, pulled them off of each other. Noticed the other girl was just non-responsive, you know, just kept cussing at her. And I just said, you know, I think it's time for us to leave. So we left. And as we were in the car, she said to me, well, who would mess with a black girl? Let's be honest. And I said, Keontae, you know, you cannot think of your skin tone as a way of protection. You know, you're not a fighter. You're a person, you know, from what I know, we grew up together. You've always been a person who believes in, you know, being a free spirit, being a person who loves everyone for who they are and what they are. You cannot expect just because your skin tone is known, you know, from people being, oh, I'm a bad girl. You know, it doesn't mean that you can just say that and think that people are going to not mess with you just because you have a darker skin so, skin tone. So I kind of, you know, that was my experience with that. And with that, I think it's, again, it's unfair. I think everyone <laughs> needs to realize just because my skin tone might be lighter or darker, it does not mean I can't protect myself. So <laughs> that's what I think on that. <laughs> okay, thank you for participating in my interview. And that's it. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.